Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shay again. You see my background, you see me on the floor. So you guys know this is going to be another prep for a travel video. So I'm actually going to be unpacking my makeup bag from my last trip and determining what I need for my upcoming cruise so if you guys are interested stay tuned i'll be talking about some of my makeup staples for traveling especially for hot weather what i think will be needed what i'm missing from this what i gotta go grab out the room so we gonna get right into it all right guys so the travel bag that i'm taking to store my makeup looks like this i purchased this recently i think from walmart if i remember correctly and it was 9.99 if i can find it on walmart.com i'll include it in the description box below this little baby is going right in my personal bag because i don't play no games when it comes to makeup if something's broken i want to blame it on myself and not anybody else so i took this with me to alabama i did the same thing i put it in my personal book bag um, when I was on Delta and everything was fine. So we're going to unpack this and um, see what is still needed for that hot southern weather. And what I think I can leave behind and what I am missing. So we'll unzip. Um, first thing I kind of see, I'm just going to pull as I see stuff in here, is my Fenty Concealer. The Fenty Concealer does not work very good for me, guys. I crease. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. But I think we're going to leave this behind. So anything I'm leaving behind, I'm probably going to put it behind me. <laughs> um, the next thing I have is my Fenty foundation. I know you guys are like, what the heck is that little thing? If anybody knows, when Fenty's foundation first came out, they were giving out samples in these little bottles. Well, I've well overused my sample bottle. But the thing about this is you can screw the top off. So what I've been doing is anytime I travel because I'm so pet peevish and I'm scared. I fill this up out of my big font, my big fonty, my big Fenty bottle and I take this with me on travel. So this is definitely gonna be a staple. Fenty does beautiful in hot weather. You put that primer on and you're set and you're ready to go. So I'm taking this with me. This will stay. Um, like should I even, y'all already know what I'm gonna say about Studio Fix, it's going. It's going point blank, period. This is my favorite powder. Y'all know. Um, next is my Fenty Bronzer, Coco Naughty. And I know I was supposed to do a video on this for you guys. Um, haven't got there yet, but I am taking it on vacation with me. I was thinking about getting Mocha Mommy because it's going to be hot. And I'm trying to look real, like, chocolate. So, I don't know. But Coco Naughty looks nice, too. It's more neutral. Mocha Mommy's more red, so we'll see, but Coco Naughty's going. Um, this must be a Fenty, is this a Fenty tutorial? Like, sis. <laughs> I have Fenty's Kilowatt Highlighter in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I keep trying to show you guys the back labels, but I'm in front of the window. Um, I'm taking this with me. I'll show you guys the inside. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. And actually what I do with this is I use the one side as a blush and one side as a highlighter so I won't need to take a blush. So this will go with me definitely. I wear this even when I don't have on like foundation. This is how much I love this. I'm surprised I haven't hit pan yet. Um, we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Stick. Which you guys know I hate foundation sticks but this actually grew on me a lot. When it came out in the beginning of the year therefore i think um only because it's hot i don't think i'm going to take this with me because the foundation stick is known i think to break up more but this was very long lasting even in like the april march months but i'll just leave it behind because i know something else that might um do better for me and we don't want my foundation stick to melt either okay next is my elf 16 hour concealer camo concealer this is going this is one of my favorite concealers um very little creasing if any which is very rare for me with concealers um it's going that's all i gotta say <laughs> why did i pick up two so i got my um brow nyx brow nyx nyx tinted brow mascara and espresso that'll go for the brows i have my la girl glide Glide gel liner. It's my favorite gel liner under the eyes. It's the best. It'll be going. Um, I have the 
NYX Full Coverage Concealer, which is what I usually use to carve out the brows. I'm going to put this behind me only because I'm going to have to decide if I want to take this with me or if I want to take the NARS um, Creamy Radiant, and I think I use a Monde. So um, it's between those two. Honestly, this is a dupe for this one. The other one's just high-end. and um, I see a little bit of a difference, but pretty much they're dupes. So I'm going to sit it behind me, but I'll put it on the rug <laughs> because that's like a... We might take it, we might not. My Makeup Revolution Highlighting Quad is Bubble Wrap for Travel. And it's going with me because this has the most beautiful highlights. Even though I have that Fenty Highlighter um, Kilowatt Duo, this needs to go because y'all already know how I feel about her. Um, I have a banana powder in here. This is the Milani Translucent Banana Powder. I have to decide what banana powder I'm going to take with me on this trip. I do have a little bit more room in this bag because I'm going to be condensing my brushes into the case I showed you guys in my last video. But, um, I don't know. This isn't my favorite banana powder, but I take this for travel because it's compact. All my other banana powders are bulky and big, but I might also use one of my travel canister things and just dump whatever banana powder I want in there and use it like that. So, we'll see. But I'm going to put that behind me for now on the rug. Um... For foundation, no, for primer, I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, I would love to take my e.l.f. because it's a dupe, but this is just a small one. I think I bought this when I first was going to try the Tatcha. Um, I got a sample, and then I bought this one because it's the smaller one. Um, I'm only taking it, like I said again, because it's under, like, I think the size is only 0.24 ounces. So, so for the sake of travel, take what you have that's smaller. Um, last but not least, I have the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. Of course, I'm going to take this jewel with me. Um, it's my favorite. And that's why I said I might use the NARS um, Creamy Radiant Concealer to go around those brows because brand name, brand name, might as well just put them together even though the NYX is a dupe. Alright guys, I'm, I've already completed one side. I'm going to dip into the other side, what I think is mostly brushes. Um, like I told you guys, I'm going to be converting my brushes into this BH Cosmetics case. Just because it'll make it easier and I also be able to pack more makeup. Um, so, you guys will just see me pull out the brush and I'll set it to the side. I have my Milani Make It Last setting spray. Um, I would probably prefer Fix Plus for vacation. Because this is a dupe for Fix Plus, but I know Fix Plus will keep me, like, good. So, I might have to go to Ulta and get the travel size. I think it runs for 12 or 14 bucks. But I will sit this behind me. Um, just in case. And I'm actually moving other stuff off the rug just so you guys can see it. So, um, I pulled out most of my brushes and whatever else I'll find in here. Like I said, I looked at these. I don't know how I'm going to get all these in here. But we'll see what works out. Um, I might still end up putting some in this bag again. Um, I have my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is a must because in that hot weather, you need this. I do the same thing with this that I do with my Fenty. I have the big bottle at home. Um, when this got low, I just opened this up. And I took the big bottle and I poured it into this one. So, use your... When you guys have travel size stuff, like when you're trying stuff, even if you are done with the product and it's empty, if it's a reusable bottle, try to keep it because it'll help you when you travel so you don't have to take your big bottles with you. Um... I have, of course, my Wet n Wild makeup sponge is going. Um, my Kiss Lash Adhesive. And I might on this trip try magnetic lashes. I was talking to one of my coworkers yesterday who was telling me it was very hard to get on, but once she got them on, they were good to go for the rest of the day. So she said you do have to practice with them. So I'm thinking about maybe getting them um, tomorrow when I get off work and starting to try to wear them and then see if I'm able to, you know do that um this is my nyx proof it waterproof eyeshadow primer i will most likely take this with me um eyeshadow primer is needed my smashbox primer water is in here i will probably just be taking this because it is um definitely travel size my big smashbox uh smashbox water is a little bit bigger but this is like like i said travel size i will take it with me um I think the last thing I have as far as makeup um, is wrapped up. This is my Wet n Wild um, palette, the Soft Glam, or my Glamour Squad. I am going to decide what eyeshadow palette I want to take with me. I really think I might take, 
an Anastasia palette, most likely either Norvina or Soft Glam. Um, I took this one with me because um, Bama Trip was just quick and it was easy to pack. But now that I'm probably going to have more room taking out some of the other stuff, I might be able to get my Soft Glam or Norvina palette in here. I'm going to, of course, bubble wrap it like I do these, and we'll see how that works. Um, brushes, brushes, brushes. I have my CoverGirl black eyeliner. I might have to get a new one because I think this one's getting empty. But, yeah, this is the plug. I have some lashes that I've been wearing um, on a daily basis. I think I have some six, some Kiss lashes in here, Kiss 11, and then Salon Perfect 614s or 615s. Um, I'm definitely going to be taking a lot of lashes. And like I told you guys before, I might be trying the magnetic one. So we'll see about that. Um, the only lipstick I have in here right now is my Dose of Colors Berry, Berry Me. Um... I'm definitely taking more lip colors, I think. I took most of them out when I came home because they are some of my dailies. Y'all already know I'm taking my favorite from ColourPop Beeper. And remember when I lost one? I found it in the trunk of my truck. So I'm definitely taking that with me. I'll probably be taking Anastasia Sepia as a gloss. And I'll look through some of my other lipsticks and I will keep you guys updated. So we have reached the end of the makeup bag. Oh, I got tweezers at the bottom. Um, okay guys, I did not forget to come back to you guys like I said and show you some of the other stuff I'm adding to the makeup bag. Um, I think I already talked about the MAC Pro Long Wear Waterproof Foundation. Like I told you guys, I used this back when I was in Dominican Republic. What I was saying before, like it's an NC50 so it's good for when I get tan but it can't be used for two or three days after I'm already there. But it's in a small container and it is a squeezy container and it's also not glass so that's one good thing about this foundation it's travel proof when they made it and it's also waterproof so this will be good for beach days I usually will probably do a light coverage of this um I also picked up my Estee Lauder stay in place double wear foundation you guys know this foundation for the goats out there y'all know that this stays in place this does not go nowhere I need to bring this with me and I thought about it um I already have my MAC pump on top I'm gonna definitely have to bubble wrap this one though because it is that glass I have the shade amber honey I am probably going to test the shade and make sure this is still my color and I don't have to get something else but one thing I will do which I did last time is if anything most of the time this might be a little tad bit too light for me mixing these two is an amazing combination for sweat proof so if I have to I'll just combine those but this is another great one um I did go in the bathroom real quick and picked up my NARS um soft matte complete concealer I don't know what I was calling it earlier but this is in the color Amande medium dark three like I said before and um I'm definitely going to take this with me to carve out the brows and last but not least, I went ahead and picked up another primer, my one heck of a blot instant perfecting primer. Um, this is a really good matte primer for um, especially the size. I have to go through my primer drawer and see if there's anything else I think I might need for that harsh weather. I really wanted to bring my Fenty, but it's in too big of a jar for me to travel with. If I can get my hands on the travel one, that'll be great. But I'm not going to go out and try to search for that when I have tons of other primers in the room. So, with that being said, I picked up this one. I am dropping stuff today. <laughs> I picked up this one because it was first on hand. But I'll go through the primer drawer and see if there's anything else that I need. So, we will go ahead and get back into here and pack all the stuff up that I have ready. And I think the only other thing I need to get in here is lip products and mascara. So... Thank you.